Hi, I'm Aura of Aura's Amazing Herbal, and I would like to tell you about our Touchy Skin Salve. Here's our Touchy Skin Salve. This is uh, the product that started the whole thing. I designed it uh, for my daughter. She developed eczema uh, right around when she turned one. And um, I took her to the doctor, and the doctor wanted to put her on all kinds of uh, medications, and they were very concerned about infection. She was very uncomfortable. So I did some research. I already had um, a, a, a network of herbalists that I consult with for various things um, from my, back, my education back in college times um, in grad school. And anyway, so I made some phone calls and developed a set. Not just phone calls. I did a bunch of research, actually. I don't mean to minimize it. Anyways, this is the sab. It's just kind of almost like the texture of um, a little bit um, softer. It's sort of like a Vaseline, I suppose. Like back when I was a kid, everyone was using Vaseline for everything. Um, so that's pretty much what we use that, the sab for now. You'll see when you put it on, it's an oil base. Don't be surprised by that. It is an oil base. Put it on. You're going to smear it. It's going to be a minute or two. Some people just use it for their hands for eczema. Some people use it as a diaper cream. Uh, some people use it um, to clean babies, like to smear them out. You know, when there's all that gunk back there, you can't, you cannot wash a baby twice a day, three times a day when they get gunk in there. You know, it's actually better not to wash a baby too often. But if you kind of rub this stuff in and then wipe it out, you get all that stuff out um, without irritating the skin. Um, so eczema, diaper rash, also just people who don't want a scented salve. A salve is just a lotion, it's an ointment, it's good for pretty much anything. You could use it on your feet, you could use it on your hands, you can use it, um, you know, when you're, after you exfoliate, I always end up having to exfoliate over here. Um, you can use it on the ends of your hair, which is what I do. I have, you know, that hair that needs extra on the ends. Um, you can use it as an intense wrinkle treatment. Um, although, you know, I generally use a serum for that, uh, but if I don't have one handy, I might use a little salve if I'm feeling like my skin is really dry and I, I don't want to let it go. Um, we use it on scrapes, cuts, burns, bruises, um, scars. Uh, it really does accelerate healing. So that's pretty much it. Well, the way we make it is we start with uh, GMO, non-GMO grapeseed oil and we infuse our herbal blend in that oil for a minimum of six weeks in cold dark conditions and this salve has uh, one extra herb that our all-purpose salve does not and all of our other infusions do not it has licorice root in there and licorice root is an anti-inflammatory it helps promote the body's natural cortisols so uh, or it helps prevent them from being reabsorbed so your body doesn't have to work as hard to produce anti-inflammatories its own natural anti-inflammatories so licorice root is a really good addition to our touchy skin salve um, and it helps people a lot. Um, we find overnight relief. Um, and the other herbs that it's infused with are chickweed, thyme, burdock, calendula, comfrey, plantain, and St. John's wort. They're all um, phytonutrient herbs. They're vitamin C. They're um, just anti-inflammatory in general. I could probably go down the list and give you all the bio compounds, but I don't think it would really be all that interesting. The truth is, um, I probably couldn't go down and tell you all the bio compounds because I'm pretty sure they're going to be more uh, discovered over the next however long people are studying herbs for. Um, we don't know everything about these wonderful herbs yet, about why they work so well, but we do know that they do. So um, that's our touchy skin sap. Thanks for watching.